All right, it's late November 1861, and um, <clears throat> let's get right to the action in Manassas. Um, as we saw last time, McDowell came in with um, basically four divisions, um, and uh, Beauregard's force has no divisions, um, and uh, basically um, the Confederates did win a few battles and uh, took the national about three national morale points um but what happened was we uh, we basically you know what's the word <laughs> we've lost a lot of cohesion in fact these guys are so little i'm actually even just gonna i'm just gonna drop them in city um having said that i think we can hold the area i've I have what's left of Borgard's force on hold at all costs. I'm going to send Longstreet um, there, and he'll arrive on day five. Longstreet's on defend and hold at all costs, and then I'm going to send Jackson. Uh, no, that's not Jackson. I'm going to send Jackson in on a conservative attack. So you notice that neither of them are actually targeting Borgard, and that way, if Borgard leaves um, or retreats in the first five days, these guys will still. Um, you know, still have a have a battle. Now, Longstreet's force is in a, is in pretty good shape at 477, and Jackson's is is a lot stronger at 767. Of course, we could see another couple of divisions come in, but I'm hoping that uh, Longstreet will have arrived by the time that uh, by the time that they arrive. What's going to happen over here in the valley is Winder's going to take up the de the defensive position um, in Harper's Ferry, and then B's division will come in to to Winchester. We'll fix the rest of the railroad. There's a Union um, cavalry unit kind of off in the mountains here, West Virginia. In western part of Virginia, I'm basically out of supply or getting ready to be. So I'm going to rail, uh, rail um, Evans' division to uh, Clarksburg, destroy the rail. This unit will stay here and destroy the rail. Um, Johnston will um, send one um, infantry small brigade and and a uh, cavalry regiment, in addition to the supply uh, to to Clarksburg. Um, meanwhile, Johnston will continue to hold uh, Morgantown, which is an objective city. So that's the general plan to take up the Fredericksburg position. We are going to um, abandon Suffolk for the moment, and they'll arrive in six, day six days. So hopefully the Union won't attack Suffolk um, in the next couple in the next couple turns. So that's pretty much it. Um, I think we got a pretty good chance of continuing to hold Manassas. You can see what's happening now in Kentucky. Um, Grant's sort of just sitting tight, and we are um, we are uh, here. And I think it's Mun Munfordville. I'm kind of spreading out to gain military control of the rest of the area. Um, we do have a new division that's formed here in Nashville, um, Stewart's. Finally, Missouri and Kansas. Uh, Lyon is still in, in Jefferson City with, with uh, McCulloch just across the way. We had a really successful turn last turn where um, Shelby's um, Calvary Division was able to take Leavenworth. We have a supply unit on the way. And the rest of this, I'm basically spreading out with um, some units to begin to uh, come in and and take uh, control uh, of of the area. It'd be nice to take uh, Lawrence relatively soon. You can see that there are two militia units there, though. Um, so um, yeah, out west um, we're holding um, Fort Fillmore and um, El Paso, and we do have a small force now that's ready in in Tuscan. Um, as far as what's being purchased, um, not a whole lot. Uh, basically, I'm purchasing a large, uh, a large brigade in North Carolina, uh, one light battery, and then uh, three cavalry uh, replacements. Uh, okay, well, let's run the turn and see what happens. <laughs> okay, so kind of some interesting turns. We lost um, two battles in 
Manassas. Um, you can see actually the Union took a lot more losses. Um, it's 4,000, we lost 2,000. Um, what I suspect though is we did, we, we probably lost, um, we probably lost some, uh, let's see, did we lose? Yeah, we may have lost some, some regiments. Um, and Jackson's division took some very, very heavy casualties. Here's the second battle that we lost. You can see, again, um, actually, the Union took more casualties. Uh, the third battle, we did actually win, even though we took the same number of casualties. So kind of a bit of a mixed bag. Um, the good news is, is that these two Union divisions are completely spent. The bad news is, is that um, there, again, is a very, very large force, and now Thomas Mars division has arrived. Mars, a decent um, offensive general. I think, though, what we can are going to be able to do is basically um, kind of restructure the brigades, um, hand uh, uh, move. Um, what am I looking for? It's here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, move, oh, it's called the Fredericks Brigade Garrison. We'll move um, Whiting's Brigade into the Army of the Potomac and kind of do do some restructuring and we'll be able to uh, maintain a defensive position. As you can see, Beauregard continues to hold his um, defensive position with an entrenchment level of three. Um, nothing really happened out here. You can see they've, they've given up a division, probably moved it back to Alexandria. Um, he's, they're working hard to uh, cut the railroad, um, and as you can see, that uh, they've moved down basically south across. Um, so, still having some supply difficulties here. Um, we do have enough for at least another turn, uh, but I'm gonna have to look at basically beginning to swap in and move um, supply units back and forth. Which of course, why that's just so critical to be able to uh, maintain this um, this supply unit. As far as in Kentucky, I didn't see any movement except um, we have one. Looks like a couple uh, cavalry brigades have have, have moved down, um, and uh, Grant is here with it looks like a few divisions uh, out west in Kansas. They're not contesting this yet, so we've. Uh, we've moved into Union territory. They do have uh, regiments and all of these, um, all of these cities and forts, um, and still no movement by Lyon. And we are now in complete control of uh, of Leavenworth. One thing is, we this probably doesn't produce enough supply for us to um, to uh, to stay here. In fact, as you can see, it looks like it produces fourteen. 14 supply, um, but that's not going to be, um, yeah, that's not going to be enough. And it doesn't look like it's even producing that right now, probably because the union has such a high loyalty and it's harsh. I think it's harsh weather might have, might have something to do with it as well. Um, okay, let's take a look at the other messages. Um, There's the loss, really, mostly just kind of forces moving. There's a second loss. Mostly the forces just moving around. Um, we do have another uh, field hospital that's ready, so that's a plus. Uh, interestingly, Jackson has been congratulated, um, even though his forces took extremely heavy losses here. And we just gained 50,000 as the card um, that I did not play, uh, basically. Um, you have an option to play a, a cotton card in uh, in Texas here to immediately get 15, or to wait for 50. So I decided to wait, and uh, we got 50. So we have epidemics in Mobile and in uh, Galveston. Okay, so we're in the throes of winter. Um, you can see this is a pretty snowy area in in this part. Uh, that is a pretty large force of a pretty large Union force there. And so um, the one thing I would say is you can tell they have so many forces kind of in this area. I don't, it doesn't really look like they're doing any sort of um, 
naval operations, which is interesting. I mean, just even what they have in, in this part of Western Virginia is you know, at least basically probably almost four divisions, it looks like. So there's a lot over here as well as a, a, um, a division up here in, in Frederick. Okay, see you next time.